let's create a new react component and move this piece inside that component all right so let's call a component as app close it let's write this component inside comps folder so right click new file save it as app.jsx or js shouldn't really matter but it's good practice to use it as jsx as it in fact is jsx file all right save this is how you write a react component first off you need to import react from react and then export default class class name is app which should be same as your file name that extends react.component this has a method called render which returns the UI element it can be anything in this case it is h1 that we want to move and save it app is used here but it's not imported yet so let's import if we don't import this it won't work app from give the path which is comps slash app dot jsx save it instead of running webpack again and again let's give another script which runs webpack in watch mode and let's call it webpack watch and save it so open your command prompt type in npm run webpack watch so webpack is up and running in watch mode let's open the file there it is and now if you make any change it should generate the bundle fine file once again there it is and if you refresh you get that change all right so this is how we create a custom component in react by extending the existing react component and render is the method that react uses to render the ui elements another important thing to note is that we cannot return multiple html elements let's say i want to give h2 and then save it so you get this error because render can return only one element if you want to render multiple elements you can wrap all of them within a div and return it save it so the error is gone and the bundle has been created 
Now if you refresh the page, you'll get both. Alright. So that's it for this one. Stay tuned and subscribe. Cheers.